Denise Haruf, and I'm here with Leslie Clements, the board president for Care Animal Rescue. She has with us today a local puppy up for adoption. So who do you have with us? Today we have Sammy. <laughs> she's so cute. Yes. So what are the, I see she's got a whole bunch of spots and stuff. What is that? Is that a certain breed? Um, we believe she's Catahoula. Um, Catahoula mix, her mom is a Catahoula mix, and we think that she's mixed with a, um, the dad might be a healer mix. So. Okay. So her, you said you seen her mom? I actually have her mom. I foster her mom and then five of her siblings. Oh wow, there's six puppies. Six puppies, yes. And they're all up for adoption? All up for adoption. So today we have Sammy and we believe they're six to seven weeks old. You know, we're not real sure. So we're going to give it another week to 10 days to make sure they're completely weaned and ready for adoption. So have they been vaccinated? They started their vaccines last Friday. So they had their first puppy shot in the series of three and their first deworming. That's awesome. So they're all getting taken care of? They're all getting taken care of. Um, they're all, you know, like I said, they just run around and playful little puppies in the backyard, so. And you said they're how many weeks old? We're thinking six weeks, could be closer to seven, but you know, definitely at least six weeks, so. So what's Sammy's backstory and all of her brothers and sisters? I guess. All of her brothers and sisters were rescued from the Erath County Humane Society. They came in um, animal control and picked them up. And of course they stayed five days on stray hold. No one came and claimed them. So the mom and the puppies all are rescued um, by us with the help of angels and outlaws. Oh, great. And so um, what is their adoption fee? Their adoption fee is 25, which covers um, their vaccines that have been started and their deworming. We can also help you get a low cost voucher if they, because they won't be spayed or neutered because they're too young. So we can get you low cost vouchers to have that done. Great. So um, you said that they're playful. They all like to play with each yes. other. Yes. Running around, playful, little, you know, puppy growls and puppy barks and chasing toys and chasing mama around still. So So you said that there's, you're fostering all of them. Mm -hmm. So can you explain more to us what fostering entails? Fostering just means you give them a place to stay until a forever home can be found. Um, I provide, you know, the food the love, the attention, try to teach them a few manners. I take them to vet, to the vet appointments if they need to go. I take them to the adoption events when it's time to get them there. And it's all on a volunteer basis. Okay. How often does a puppy of this age need to see the vet? You said that you'll be fostering them to take care of them. Mm -hmm. And what, what all do you have to do to take care of a puppy this young? Um, you definitely want to make sure they get started on their um, five ways or seven ways vaccines, deworming. Puppies need to be dewormed every two weeks. So at two, four, six, eight, four times they need to have um, dewormings and then they need a series of puppy vaccines, um, which is one vaccine every three weeks till they've had three, sometimes four. Okay, so the older dogs, they don't have to go through this sort of? They do. Older dogs need a vaccine at least once a year. Um, puppies from the age of six months to one year should at least have two. Okay. And with the fostering, you said, is there any way that someone would could get in contact with someone through CARE about fostering? Yes. You can go to careforrescue.com and you can click on the links to our pet finder. You can click on the links to our Facebook page. There's um, contact information there, our address, our telephone number, our email, and you can contact us and we can let you know um, what we're looking for. We're always looking for fosters, um, people to come and help volunteer. If you're great with social media, we, you know, we need page admins and website designers, things like that. That's great to know. So with, um, so you said there's Sammy, five brothers and sisters, yes. the mom, what other animals do you have up for adoption? We have, right now we have Sandy. She is a healer mix. She's about nine to 10 years old. She's already spayed. She's a great dog. She just needs a home, someone who understands that seniors, you know, they, they move a little slower, but she's still got a lot of, of play left in her. We have three girl puppies, which is Sammy, Elfie, and Charlie. We have three boy puppies, which is gonna be Leo, Newton, Newton. and Willis. Yes, almost forgot. <laughs> we have Madre and Hansel. Then we have four Pyrenees puppies. We have Munchkin, who is just rescued. Jackrabbit is the Chihuahua mix. He has really long ears, kind of looks like a little jackrabbit. Then we have uh, Sassy. She's a long-haired weenie dog. Jimmy T, he is an Australian Shepherd mix. We have Bella Hoops, who is rescued here locally as well, um, out of the Erath County Humane Society. Booger Bear is a cat. And then Sandy again, of course. And then all of our rescues come from Erath County, Palo Pinto County. Some come from Parker County, but it's all here locally. So when you adopt a rescue from us, you're helping out 
here locally. So how do you get a hold of the dogs like this? How do they come into Care Animal Rescue? The majority of them are dumped, unfortunately. Um, people decide that they can't take care of their pet anymore, and they just don't want their pet anymore, and they get dumped out in the country roads, and somebody calls us and we go and pick them up. Some of them have come from the shelters. Again, they've been picked up by animal control, or an owner just couldn't take care of their pet anymore, and they've surrendered them to the facilities in order to find them another home. So what do you think would be the best way to prevent you know, so many dogs being dumped or so many dogs coming into the shelter, you know, so many animals having to come to a rescue to seek a second chance. How do you think we should prevent that? Education is the key. It's all about education. Um, the communities need to know that spaying and neutering is the number one way to stop unwanted litters. If you can spay and neuter your pet, you will help keep the pet population down. If you know someone who can't keep their pet, try to help them. Sometimes it could be as simple as they just need help with dog food. Maybe their dog needs some training. Maybe their cat keeps having litters of kittens and she needs to be fixed. And you can always get a hold of your local shelters, your local rescues. And sometimes resources are just, just a phone call away of, hey, I need dog food. Hey, I need to know how to have my cat fixed. And we can help with those kind of things. That's great. That's great news for everyone to know. <laughs> so what about um, spaying and neutering? Like how expensive is that? Or, you know, what is it? Um, how do you think that, that that helps so much? It's not it's not as expensive as what people would think. If you um, are even on a limited income, if you save ten dollars a month, you could have your your dog or your cat fixed in seven or eight months just by putting ten dollars a month back. You know, less than a hundred dollars will get your 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 cat or dog fixed, and there's no more unwanted litters of puppies. And that's the key. Just just get out there and make sure your pets are spayed and neutered. If your neighbors have pets that need to be spayed and neutered, encourage them to do so as well. Right, right. Well, thank you so much thank for bringing you. Sammy. She's so cute and we <laughs> just wanted to get adopted. I just want to squeeze her. <laughs> well, um, if you'd like any more information on the dogs, the cats, or any other animals up for adoption through CARE, or if you'd like to know how to foster, volunteer, or donate to CARE Animal Rescue, please visit careforrescue.com. Now back